chapter 2961, come out and die, 5. Beizu was frightened out of his wits, Jun Wuxi's anger was so obvious that if he still had to guess the reason for it, he was truly a fool. Staying alive was all that was on Beizu's mind. He pleadingly looked at Long Yao, the only one present who could save him was Long Yao, Long Yao said coldly, Yan Hai. What are you doing? Don't tell me you're insisting on breaking the rules. Long Yao's calm tone masked a bit of fear he felt on the inside. Ever since Jun Wuxi appeared, nothing had gone according to his plan. Even the mighty Long Yao had to admit he had no way of knowing what she would do next. This youth was more dangerous than he had imagined. Jun Wuxi lifted her head slightly to look at Long Yao. She had no intention to release Bei Aizu. I don't remember the rules having anything to do with the lords of the 72 cities. What? Long Yao was a little shocked, apparently not understanding the meaning behind Jun Wuxi's words. Jun Wuxi said, I am the overlord of the 72 cities and Bei Aizu, being lord of White Knight City, is my subordinate. It can't be that disciplining one of my subordinates violates the rules right? Jun Wuxi stared blankly at Long Yao, even allowing a slight smile to creep through. Long Yao dared to attack her, well now it was time to experience her vengeance. Jun Wuxi's words negated all of Long Yao's warnings. He had originally intended to use his lord's name to control her actions but never did he expect to be defeated. His lord had never cared about the 72 cities, whether it was one city destroying another or one rising above all others. He had always closed one eye and shut the other. In doing so, this brutal atmosphere was formed. Jun Wuxi had used her status as overlord of the 72 cities to crush Bei Aizu. Even if Long Ya wanted to come out with a reason, it would be hard to say she broke his lord's rules as he never interfered with matters of the 72 cities. If Long Ya really did it, it would have been as representing the Lord. Even as a night of destruction, there were places he dared not dread. Long Yao's eyes narrowed dangerously. Jun Wuxi's actions were a challenge to Long Yao himself. Lord Lord Long Yao save save me Bei Aizu was terrified. Not having great strength, he was good at crafting strategies and did his best work behind the scenes. Now that he was in the hands of Jun Wuxi, he had no way of escaping. With Bei Aizu's intelligence, how could he not know Jun Wuxi's intent? For the first time in his life, Bei Aizu felt close to death. His only way out was Long Yao and he could only look towards Long Yao to give himself a chance of living. However, Long Yao's brows furrowed. Based on Jun Wuxi's argument, he had no reason to intervene. It was hard to imagine that even while bearing so much hate, Jun Wuxi could maintain such a cool head. Chapter 2962 come out and die. 6. Why? Lord Long Yao, do you mean to interfere in the affairs of the 72 cities? Jun Wuxi cocked an eyebrow, while delivering her words in an almost arrogant, taunting manner. Giao Chu, Fi Yan, Hu Yao, Fan Zhu O, Rong Rao the suffering each of them endured would be paid back ten times. 100 times. She wanted Long Yao to know that her people were not to be trifled with. Plotting against her was one thing, but plot against her companions and prepare to feel her wrath, to exact her revenge, it was not enough for Jun Wuxi to merely kill her target. She wanted to thoroughly embarrass Long Yao in front of the whole arena. He wanted to protect Bei Aizu and she wanted to kill him in front of his very eyes. She wanted to see how much the infamous Lord Long Yao could take. A chill flashed across Jun Wuxi's eyes. Long Yao looked at Jun Wuxi angrily. He wished he could tear her limb from limb. However he had no way of doing that. If Jun Wuxi had challenged Bei Aizu within the parameters of the selection, he could chase her away. But Jun Wuxi had made clear her grouse with Bei Aizu and that it was a matter that fell into the jurisdiction of the 72 cities. Long Yao had no cause for action. Long Yao had never been challenged like this before. But with Jun Wuxi using his lord's name, he felt like he could not breathe. Bei Aizu's incessant cries for help made Long Yao feel even more frustrated. Bei Aizu dying was one matter, but for him to die right in front of him, would be of great embarrassment to Long Yao. In the back room, Fang Jing and the rest of the top ten exponents were scared stiff. When Jun Wuxi rushed towards them, 
each thought they would be the first to go. Luckily it was Beizu and not them who was first. No matter what status Beizu held in the 72 cities, it meant little in the sacred city. In the arena, the audience grained their necks to catch a glimpse of what was going on high up in the back room. They saw that Jun Wuxi had her hands on Beizu and could only exclaim in surprise, especially those that were on previously good terms with Bei Aizu. They had no idea what had transpired between Jun Wuxi and Bei Aizu to result in her wanting to kill him. Only Dong Fun Kubai, when seeing Jun Wuxi's back, felt a sense of shock. Maybe people did not realize, but according to reports that Dong Fun Kubai had received over the past few days, the bloody battles that had been occurring in the sacred city seemed to all involve the people close to Jun Wuxi. Having spent some time himself in the Sea Spirit City, Dong Fun Kubai was very clear that the relationship this group had was not of master and servants but was as close as a group of siblings. If some of them were hurt, how could Jun Wuxi take it lying down? Up on the high platform, Long Yan and Jun Wuxi were still at an impasse, facing Bei Aizu's cries for help. Long Yao's expression was as dark as it had ever been. Yan Hai, this is the top 10 masters selection, not a place to solve the petty squabbles of the 72 cities. Long Yao said through gritted teeth, chapter 2963 come out and die. 7 what? His lord has such a rule? If there is, I will stop now. But if there isn't I hope Lord Long Yao would not interfere in the affairs of the 72 cities. Jun Wuxi lowered her head and looked at Long Yao who was trembling with anger. She would not back down even half an inch. His lord's rules. How would it be possible that the lord was interested in such trivial matters? Long Yao was gnashing his teeth to their roots with anger. How would he ever have thought that by using his lord's name to trap Jun Wuxi? His words would be used against him repeatedly and he in turn would have been trapped by Jun Wuxi. If Long Yao had not invoked the name of his lord earlier, perhaps he could have found a way out. But now that he was caught in his own trap, he had nothing else to say. Long Yao had been rebutted into silence by Jun Wuxi and if he continued to argue, she could instead accuse him of defying the lord's will. In the upper realm, Long Yao could pay heed to nothing and nobody. Unless it came to his lord then he did not dare to step out of line. If he were dealing with an ordinary person, Long Yao could simply kill him. But when facing Jun Wuxi, bearer of the dual spirit rings, Long Yao was not absolutely sure he could defeat her based on strength alone. Moreover, there were no charges that he could place on her to use the sacred city's army, it was difficult for him to achieve his objective. Jun Wuxi had backed Long Yao into a corner making him angry but powerless to act. Long Yao's silence basically meant his consent to Jun Wuxi's actions. Bei Aizu stared incredulously at Long Yao, who by now had lowered his gaze to the ground. He could not believe that with Long Yao as protection, Jun Wuxi could still get to him and even more so, that his plan which seemed like a sure bet just moments ago, laid in tatters. Bei Aizu's entire body was trembling. He could clearly feel Jun Wuxi's spiritual power radiating from his neck down. With despair in his eyes, he cried out in desperation, Lord Long Yao please save me. I did it all for you you can't leave me in the lurch. Bei Aizu's plea made Long Yao's brows furrow even further. He suddenly looked up at Jun Wuxi and said, Although this may be a matter of the 72 cities, don't forget this arena is for the top 10 masters selection and not a venue for your personal vendettas. If your actions taint this place, is that a responsibility you can bear? After thinking for a long time, Long Yao finally found an excuse that sounded reasonable and did not violate the Lord's will. Upon hearing Long Yao's words, Bei Aizu heaved a sigh of relief. Jun Wuxi raised her eyebrows and looked at Long Yao's grey face. An impish smile formed on her face. So Lord Long Yao is only afraid that I will dirty the place. That's a simple fix. Just as Bei Aizu thought his life was saved, Jun Wuxi opened his mouth and forced a pill down his throat, making him swallow it. Jun Wuxi's actions were as fast and smooth as flowing water. Long Yao had no time to react. Yan Hai. How dare you! Long Yao shouted furiously, his eyes open wide. Chapter 2964 Come out and die. 8. Long Yao was preparing to take action, but Jun Wuxi let go of Bei Aizu. Bei Aizu fell to the floor. 
his legs too weak to support his weight, the color had been drained from his face and his air of elegance had been replaced with a sense of hopelessness. Jun Wuxi looked at the furious Long Yao and raised her hands, please don't worry Lord Long Yao, I definitely wouldn't taint this place. She had on a smug smile that was taunting him at the same time, for some reason, that made her gentle features emit a bewitching radiance, making it impossible to look away. What did you give him? Long Yao stared at her and asked. Jun Wuxi did not respond immediately. Her murderous, yet smiling eyes scanned the back room full of the top ten masters and finally rested on the heavily bandaged Fang Jing. Little Little Yuo is gone she's gone. Little Xi, please find Little Yuo. In that instant, Jun Wuxi's mind was filled with Fi Yan's cries for help. The night before, she personally went to the place that Fi Yan and Rong Ryu were attacked. What was originally a busy street was no longer and was filled with the putrid stench of blood. Nobody dared step onto the street which in the dead of night, was completely silent. Jun Wuxi would never forget seeing a butterfly caked in blood bathed in the moonlight while standing on that street. It was so beautiful, yet so tragic. Jun Wuxi's expression deepened. It was as if Rong Ryuo's every smile and action was being played in front of her eyes. She recalled, at Cloudy Brook Academy, the gentle and carefree youth that she was stood at the doorway and said with a smile, this must be the new friend that brother who and the rest brought back. My name is Rong Ryuo, I overheard Giao Chu call you little Xi. Do you mind if I call you that as well? She especially remembered that no matter how tough the circumstances, Rong Ryuo always had a smile on her face that was as gentle as water. Jun Wuxi always thought that Rong Ryuo had a beautiful smile. Neither gentle like a lady's nor steely like a man's but the type that gave an all-encompassing warmth. But that smile would never be seen again. Her heart ached as if someone had dug out a piece of her heart and left a gaping void. Jun Wuxi's eyes slowly regained focus. The bottom of her eyes reflected Fang Jing's panic-stricken face. His reflection seemed to burn up in the eyes of Jun Wuxi. Fang Jing got a fright when Jun Wuxi looked at him, and his face turned a whiter shade of pale. He automatically started moving towards the back to hide but Jun Wuxi's icy gaze cut through the crowd, giving him no place to hide, according to rumors. Jun Wuxi said slowly, among the top ten masters, one of you is an expert in poison. In that case, I invite Lord Long Yao to get that person to examine Bei Aizu and diagnose what poison I've administered to Bei Aizu. If the diagnosis is correct, I will gladly hand over the antidote and you will never hear from me again. Long Yao was rocked by this statement. Jun Wuxi was obviously referring to Fang Jing. And Fang Jing was the only one who managed to kill one of Jun Wuxi's companions in the previous operation. What did Jun Wuxi hope to achieve by doing this? Chapter 2965 Come Out and Die 9 Long Yao had not yet begun to realize that he was being led by the nose by Jun Wuxi. Of course, if Lord Long Yao has no intention to save Bei Aizu, then so be it. Jun Wuxi laid the ball squarely in Long Yao's court. Long Yao could no longer guess what Jun Wuxi's intentions were and could only look at the defenseless Bei Aizu who was sprawled on the floor with a frown. Lord Long Yao? save me, please save me, I don't want to die. I'm willing to do anything, as long as you save me. Bei Aizu was at Long Yao's feet, crying and begging, he knew that Jun Wuxi's hatred for him ran so deep that even if he died there and then, it would not erase the hatred, begging her was useless, his only hope was Long Yao. Bei Aizu understood that his status meant nothing to the top ten masters. Just looking at the terror on Fan Jing's face. He knew that even if he begged Fan Jing, he would be too afraid to act. Long Yao was his last and only hope. He was no fool. He knew that he had incurred Jun Wuxi's wrath by cooperating with Long Yao and if he died, Long Yao would be thoroughly embarrassed. Although Long Yao did not care for Bei Aizu personally, for his own image and reputation, he could not sit back and do nothing. As expected, after a moment's thought, Long Yao said to Fang Jing, Come here and examine him. Fang Jing got a shock when he was called upon by Long Yao. Although he was terribly unwilling, he had no choice but to step forward. Jun Wuxi's icy glare gave him a bad feeling about what was going to happen. When Fang Jing was hunting down Rong Ruo and Fi Yan, 
he never thought his day of reckoning would come so soon, as arrogant as he was in front of Rong Ruo and Fi Yan, he now felt an equal amount of fear and terror. Fang Jing walked with trepidation towards Bei Aizu, who showed no physical signs of the poison's effects. Under Long Yao's instructions, Fang Jing took out his own silver needle and inserted it into Bei Aizu's flesh to check for the presence of poison. Fang Jing had absolute confidence in his abilities regarding poison. After calming himself down, he felt that this was a great opportunity. Jun Wuxi had said, in front of Long Yao no less, that if he could identify the poison, she would cause no further trouble. Jun Wuxi may have been a dual spirit ring bearer, but Fang Jing was sure that when it came to poisons, he was unsurpassed in the entire upper three realms. If he could identify the poison, not only could he save Bei Aizu, he could also heal the rift between them and Jun Wuxi, killing two birds with one stone. At that moment, Fan Jing was no longer afraid as he felt he had the upper hand and could not help but secretly mock Jun Wuxi's arrogance. How could he have joined the top ten masters if not for his knowledge of poison? How could Jun Wuxi make a bet with Long Yao over poison? This just played into his hands. With this attitude, Fan Jing's movements quickened and he held his silver needle with a much steadier hand. Chapter 2966 Ridiculous Poison King Bei Aizu's expression was extremely tense. Although Fang Jing had some knowledge about the poison, he did not know why he felt that the matter was not that simple whenever he looked into Jun Wuxi's eyes. Fang Jing repeatedly searched Bei Aizu's body in the eyes of the public. He checked using silver needles, bloodletting, and other methods. However, Fang Jing was stunned. Jun Wuxi stared at the sparkling silver needle that she just pulled out from Bei Aizu's body. Fang Jing involuntarily looked at Jun Wuxi. Her expression seemed extremely strange. How's it? Long Yao asked coldly. Long Yao had recovered a little piece at this moment. He had the same thoughts as Fang Jing. Since Jun Wuxi had said those words, it was necessary to bear the consequences. As long as Fang Jing found out the origin of the poison, Jun Wuxi could no longer find trouble with them. Long Yao also believed that Jun Wuxi would not easily let go of those who hurt her companions. By then, his plan could still be carried out. The anger had just disappeared at this moment. Long Yao looked at Jun Wuxi's eyes with a little less surprise but a little more ridicule. She was still too young to realize such a good opportunity to avenge him. Instead, Jun Wuxi chose to take a gamble, which was simply killing herself. As long as this poison was settled, it did not matter anymore if Jun Wuxi wanted to deal with Bei Aizu or Fang Jin He in the future. Long Yao had a perfect excuse to wipe it out. However, just when Long Yao was complacent about his plan, he didn't realize that Jun Wuxi's eyes flashed a sneer. Lord Fang, what's wrong with my poison what happened? Bei Aizu completely lost his mind to think about something else. He just wanted to know if he would survive. Fang Jing's expression was tangled to the extreme. He stared at the silver needle in his hand, and said for a long while, You are you not poisoned? When Fang Jing said this, everyone in the room was frightened. Long Yao couldn't help showing a surprised expression, Not poisoned? What does this mean? Long Yao couldn't believe it and asked. Fang Jing could only explain. I have checked Bei Aizu all over, but he showed no signs of poisoning. Fang Jing was also dumbfounded. He had seen countless poisons and hundreds or thousands of poisons. But he had never seen any poison that could not be detected by using silver needles or bloodletting. No evidence of poisoning was found on Bei Aizu's body. Bei Aizu's body was normal and there was no toxin at all. Could it be that? Is this a trap intentionally set by Jun Wuxi? She didn't poison Bei Aizu at all. So she said that? Long Yao's eyes suddenly looked at Jun Wuxi. But Jun Wuxi's expression was very calm. Yan Hai. Did you poison Bei Aizu? Jun Wuxi glanced at Long Yao, then her eyes fell on Fang Jing. It seems that the rumors are really not credible, and the so-called Poison King is just nothing more than this. Fang Jing looked stiff, among the top ten experts. He did have the title of a poisoned king. This was what he had always been proud of. But for some reason, when this was said by Jun Wuxi, it sounded sarcastic. Chapter 2967, 
Ridiculous Poison King 2 2967 Ridiculous Poison King 2 If you can't find it, he's going to die. Jun Wuxi narrowed his eyes and looked up at Long Yao. Lord Long Yao, it seems I won. Long Yao's expression became very ugly. He was very confident about Fang Jing's ability to poison. Since Fang Jing could not detect the poison, it should be really non-toxic. Long Yao couldn't feel any better. Yan Hai, whether you have been poisoned or not remains to be determined. If you dare to deceive me, you should know the consequences. Long Yao threatened to say. Bei Ai Zhu, do you feel any discomfort? Long Yao asked. Bei Ai Zhu was already frightened. When he heard Long Yao's inquiries, he immediately looked down. Strange enough, after he took Jun Wuxi's poison, his body did not have any discomfort or pain. He shook his head at Long Yao. Yan Hai, what else do you have to say? Long Yao frowned and looked at Jun Wuxi. Jun Wuxi didn't take it for granted. Those cold eyes fell to the pale-faced Bei Ai Zhu. Lord Bei Ai. Bei Ai Zhu could not help but start shaking. As a man, your skin is really more delicate than a woman. Jun Wuxi said something inexplicable and she kept quiet. Bei Ai Zhu was confused by Jun Wuxi's words. He was born with pure white skin. Although he was better than an ordinary man, it was really very different comparing him with a woman. While Bei Ai Zhu was thinking about the meaning of Jun Wuxi's words, Fang Jing squatted beside Bei Ai Zhu and swept around him casually. But this circling surprised Fang Jing. He sat on the ground, and he screamed. Ah! Fang Jing's scream shocked Bei Ai Zhu's heart. He turned to look at Fang Jing. He could only find Fang Jing staring at his face with horror. Bei Ai Zhu reached out his hand subconsciously, and touched his cheek. The touch of his fingertips was an unusually soft touch. The smooth feeling was actually a little tender than a woman's skin. Bei Aizu stared to the extreme in an instant. The softness had exceeded the limit that the flesh could bring. He tapped lightly, but he didn't feel any obstacle under the skin. Without the support of a bit of meat and bones, his entire skin was wrapped with a warm and sticky liquid. What's going on? What's going on here? A huge horror spread in the bottom of Bei Aizu's heart. He raised his hand in a panic and stared. He almost fainted. His hands became extremely white and tender. The slightly rough skin no longer existed. Now, what covers him was a thin layer of cicada-like, translucent skin. The crisscross blood vessels, and the blood red, viscous fluid could be clearly seen under it. Bei Aizu stared and unable to believe everything he saw. His skin! Exclamation mark. His muscles! Exclamation mark. Everyone present was paying attention to the changes in Bei Aizu. It looked fierce that there was nothing unusual about Bei Aizu. But if you take a closer look, you could see that the skin of Bei Aizu's entire body has become as thin as cicada wings. They could clearly see the blood vessels in Bei Aizu's body and the muscles that have melted into pus. Chapter 2968 Ridiculous Poison King 3 Bei Aizu looked like a water bag hanging on a rack of bones. It looked gooey and extremely disgusting. His features were also exaggerated. The thin skin started to sag terribly. The corners of his mouth started to droop all the way to the jaw. With the exaggerated sagging, his skin was hanging loosely against his muscleless bones revealing the cold white bones. This scene made everyone look dumbfounded. No one had seen such a weird scene before them. It was no longer a person but a mess. Fang Jing, what the hell is going on here? Long Yao's face had turned blue and purple. Fang Jing only said that Bei Aizu had no signs of poisoning. But in a blink of time, Bei Aizu became like this. Fang Jing panicked. Huge beads of perspiration continued to trickle down his forehead. His eyes widened in horror as he saw Bei Aizu's disgusting mucus wrapped in the skin. Fang Jing almost vomited immediately. I, I don't know, I really don't know. Lord Long Yao, when I tested the drug just now, you have seen it. I really did not detect any poison. Fang Jing fell to the ground. He sat on the ground trembling, his emotions distraught as he struggled to explain to Long Yao. What a waste. 
Long Yao's face turned so ugly that Bei Aizu became like this. Even a fool knew that it was the poison given by Jun Wuxi. But Long Yao could not understand what poison it was exactly. Why couldn't even Fang Jing the Poison King find out? Long Yao looked up and looked at Jun Wuxi who was standing aside. He was just a thin boy. But for some reason, Long Yao had a kind of fear in his heart at this moment. Colorless, odorless poison that could not be detected. The effect would be so strong. All of that made Long Yao feel a chill in his heart. If this poison was used on his body, Long Yao really dared not think any further. Save, save. Mi Bei Aizu was struggling in pain. He watched as he turned into this inhuman and devil like appearance. It was terrible that he didn't feel any symptoms. His sufferings occurred silently, and the kind of relative calmness in the spirit exacerbated his fear of death. As if he had never suffered anything. He was being pushed step by step towards the abyss of death. No pain would dispel his despair and fear. Such fear of death quietly approaching under the extreme silence had even surpassed the pain that the body could bear. At this moment, Bei Aizu wished that the poison in his body could make him intolerable, so he would not have such fear. He would not have to look at his pathetic self. Bei Aizu's call for help did not receive any response. Even Fang Jing was helpless. Who else among the top ten experts could solve it? Bei Aizu seemed to be aware of his own ending. His actions had become more and more strenuous. His muscles had turned into pus, wrapped in thin skin. Each of his bones had fallen abnormally. Looking at Jun Wuxi, with a plea in his eyes. Yug, this is what you deserve. Jun Wuxi looked at Bei Aizu coldly, without the slightest sympathy in her eyes. Chapter 2969 Ridiculous Poison King 4 Bei Aizu stared at Jun Wuxi in a dumbfounded manner. In his mind, countless images appeared at this moment. At that time, he had just attained the position of the White Knight City Lord. When the White Knight City was in trouble, he was fortunate to have several confidants left by his father, which aided him through the most difficult years. After the White Knight City was stable, his strength had also been stable. He could still remember that day where he hosted a banquet and invited the elders to drink together. But alas, he poisoned the drinking water. Great achievers neglect small details. This was what Bei Aizu had always believed in. No matter whether it was a danger on the surface or a possible threat, he would not hesitate to eradicate it. Therefore, knowing that as long as he did not actively provoke Jun Wuxi, she would not retaliate against him. Bei Aizu still thought more, he was extremely unwilling to have Jun Wuxi accomplish his dream. He was not resigned, just as Jun Wuxi said. Everything today, he deserved it. If it wasn't for excessive suspicion and expansive ambitions, Bei Aizu could be at ease with his city lord position of White Knight City. Jun Wuxi would not take away any power from him. A man's heart who was not content is like a snake which tries to swallow an elephant. He finally took this step. The cooperation with Long Yao prompted him to stand on the opposite side of Jun Wuxi. If Bei Aizu didn't join Long Yao's scheme against Giao Chu and their companions, if he had not chosen to go directly against Jun Wuxi, Maybe she would not have used such a terrible poison against him. But what Bei Aizu had messed with was irreversible. That unforgivable sin. Bei Aizu suddenly slumped onto the ground as his bones had become abnormally weak. He found it very laborious to even support his own head to look at Jun Wuxi. Long Yao's expression was slightly haggard. Looking at Bei Aizu's appearance, he was helpless. It felt as if Jun Wuxi had thrown him a few slaps on his face. His face felt a hot sting. Yan Hai, don't forget about this place, you can't dirty it. Long Yao seemed to want to support his confidence. Jun Wuxi looked at Long Yao and swept away. Rest assured, I remember. Long Yao gritted his teeth. He didn't know what Jun Wuxi would do next. Bei Aizu's condition would easily stain the area within a three meter perimeter. However, Jun Wuxi's calmness made Long Yao feel uneasy. Just when Long Yao was uneasy, Bei Aizu who was paralyzed on the ground suddenly twitched violently, his pus suddenly swelled, and the whole person instantly became a meatball, with blood vessels and blue veins spreading thin. It looked really disgusting. Fang Jing, who was closest to Bei Aizu, was so frightened that he ran away. He was afraid that Bei Aizu would splash on him when he exploded. Others were also prepared to retreat. At this moment, 
Beizu's consciousness was blurred. There was no pain, it was as if it was amassing. At the moment when his body was expanding, every cell and every nerve on his body seemed to be crushed by a boulder. His eyes turned white and his mouth started to foam. What was more frightening was that Beizu's throat seemed to be blocked by a kind of mucus, which rendered him unable to make a sound under the severe pain. At the moment everyone thought that Beizu's body would explode. The surface of Beizu's skin exuded a burst of steam, and white mist drifted with the wind. Beizu's body was like a deflated ball. In the same way, it dried up quickly, but the skin that was originally pink had instantly turned yellow, and clung to his bones tightly. Chapter 2970 Ridiculous Poison King 5 This scene made everyone's hair stand on end. That Beizu who was swollen the moment before was now like a dry corpse that had been drained off flesh and blood. A layer of yellow, wrinkled skin was sticking on his body. However, his eyes still looked at the crowd in horror. That was an extremely creepy feeling that no one could fathom. Beizu was lying straight on the ground, except for his eyes. He could not move an inch of his body. His bones were so aching so badly that he couldn't even muster up a sliver of strength. The layer of skin that was sticking to his body was like a piece of hard wax. Fang Jing on the side was already so scared and he looked as if he had lost his soul. He had been complacent, living arrogantly under the title of Poison King. He had never seen such a sinister poison in his life. From the meat ball to a shriveled up body in the blink of an eye. If Fang Jing had not seen it in person, he would not have believed it at all. As far as Fang Jing's understanding of toxicity was concerned, there was no poison detected at all. Moreover, no such similar poisons had been recorded in any ancient prescriptions before. Lying on the ground, Beizu's spirit was torn. He seemed to be half dead and motionless, but he knew it. Although he had turned into the appearance of this shriveled up body, his perception remained conscious. At this moment, he felt countless ants gnawing at his bones. The kind of heart tingling itch and itching made Beizu feel that living was worse than death. Beizu never dreamt that before he died, he would suffer so much. Despair, pain and fear began to devour his soul with the impending death. The yellow skin gradually became dark brown under the sun as if the last bit of water had evaporated. Fine cracks started to spread on the skin's folds. With a gust of wind, the shriveled up body of Beizu instantly turned into powder and dissipated with the wind, leaving no trace on the ground. A living person right before them had undergone this series of changes. The people standing in the room witnessed the process of the creation of this shriveled up body that had in turn disintegrated and disappeared right before their very eyes. What would take thousands of years to happen had just flashed before their very eyes. There was not a single sound. June Wuxi narrowed her eyes and looked at the clean ground as a sneer curled up at the corner of her lips. She slightly raised her head and looked at Long Yao, Lord Long Yao. How was it? How was it? Long Yao's mouth couldn't help twitching. Never thought that Jun Wuxi could really kill him so cleanly. This was really beyond Long Yao's expectation. This boy was too dangerous. Since the matter of the 72 cities has been resolved, then Yan Hai, you should choose your opponent to challenge. Long Yao forced down the dissatisfaction in his heart and looked at Jun Wuxi with an ugly expression. Jun Wuxi has only one chance. No matter which one of the top ten experts she killed, there would still be four people. Those four would be like four thorns stuck in Jun Wuxi's throat. The more cruel Jun Wuxi was to Beizu, the more convinced Long Yao knew the importance of her companions. Jun Wuxi's eyes glanced at the top ten experts in the room. Anyone who was caught by her gaze started to tremble uncontrollably and their face turned blue.